Good things are coming, I just know it. All right, we got more good news on the agenda for us this week. This time, Jupiter, planet of optimism, buoyancy, and good luck is gonna be stationing to go direct on October 17th or 18th, depending on which time zone you are in. This is gonna be happening at 22 degrees and 20 minutes of Aquarius. And we love when Jupiter stations to go direct, especially, but retrograde too, because when a planet stations to go retrograde or direct, its presence is very commanding. So we have like this standstill. It's like someone takes um, the podium, you know, and we're just like waiting for them to speak. And so that's kind of what happens when a planet is stationing. And we like Jupiter. We like all things Jupiter because Jupiter is all the good things about celebration and expansion and wanting more of the good the good stuff in life. So the caution is with Jupiter is that we can sometimes take on too much. Like you can definitely have too much of a good thing to the point where it becomes overwhelming or it becomes, you know, commonplace. So there can be something um, about overdoing that we certainly want to watch for around this Jupiter station. But overall, you might feel the celebratory vibes of Jupiter, especially because we know that Jupiter from here is gonna gather momentum and speed right back to its home sign of Pisces. This is good news because if you remember, Jupiter already had a brief stay in Pisces already this year. It was um, from the middle of May to the end of July. And that was the time where we had just like this brief but extremely sweet and celebratory reprieve from the heaviness that is the panorama. And so we can look forward to Jupiter returning to Pisces as a time where we might be able to reclaim some of that or a lot of that. Um, so we do have to take a look because Jupiter in Aquarius has coincided with scientific breakthroughs, specifically the vaccine development. So when Jupiter entered Aquarius at the end of December of 2020, that was when the vaccines began to be available. Um, by the time Jupiter got into Pisces, enough people had become vaccinated that it was like, all right, we, we got this. We got this. Like, we're good. Except we weren't. And it was maybe a little bit of the over-optimism of Jupiter and Pisces. And I wrote about that in my article on my website last March. Um, but you could also look at my Jupiter and Pisces video for a solid recap on what that transit is going to be about. Um, so... Yeah, so Jupiter stationed retrograde at two degrees of Pisces and started to move backward into Aquarius. As Jupiter re-entered Aquarius um, at the end of July, mask recommendations were adjusted um, as they had been lifted the day that Jupiter entered Pisces. So the day Jupiter enters Aquarius, we see this shift here in the United States. And simultaneously, we start to hear more murmurs around vaccine development for a booster shot and also for children. So I am betting that by the end of the year, that vaccine will be available for children because I think that's something has to coincide with the celebratory, freeing, opening vibe of Jupiter returning to Pisces. So I'm betting that by the end of the year, that is going to be here or very close within sight. Um, so yeah, we can get excited because from here, Jupiter's gonna gather momentum, clearing the last eight degrees of Aquarius, and it will enter Pisces again, just in time for the ball to drop on December 29th. So then, then we have another round of Jupiter and Pisces to look forward to, about five months of that. So we'll definitely wanna soak that up while we have it. Um, but from here, my best advice for this Jupiter station, because it's stationing in a social, you know, very social Aquarius sign, um, there can just be an eagerness to do too much. There can be an eagerness to just fill that calendar. We have many other aspects that are kind of lending to that desire or that just like excitement to do, do, do. Um, but I really would recommend we have just a couple more months left of Jupiter and Aquarius. Aquarius being a sign of social distancing. You know, Aquarius doesn't want to get too close. Aquarius doesn't want to be all touchy-feely, you know? So this like standing six feet apart thing 
works really well for a lot of Aquarius placements. Um, so what we want to do is we want to take advantage of that time. If you have like more books that you're desiring to read, if you feel like you haven't quite gotten the most out of your hermit mode, um, Jupiter and Aquarius is here to help us get the most out of that before we get to the holidays and before Jupiter goes into Pisces, where we will all be wanting to hug and love on each other all over again. So that is your Jupiter Direct Astrology Shot of the Day. Check out those other resources and I will catch you next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. For more astrology in your world, you can connect with me on all platforms at Astro Catherine or visit me at my website where you can book your next reading. And I look forward to discussing your chart with you in more detail.